Well, we are certainly very encouraged by the way that the forecasts for the UK economy are being progressively upgraded. Looking out over the next three to four years, we're looking at a, an average growth rate of around about 2.5%. That's very encouraging for the economy as a whole. Clearly what we need to see is, is that uh, economic growth uh, cascading through all levels of uh, the population so that people feel that there's a windfall benefit for them of the economic growth that's happening at a macro level. And more widely, in terms of the global economy, um, upgrades for Europe are continuing. That's encouraging. Um, we're seeing effectively some downgrades in some of the emerging markets. So um, you know, China, for example, moving down from historic rates of around 9-10% beginning to centre down to around levels of 7, 7.5%, and depending on the commentary that you read, potentially some slight downside risk further beyond that. Um, but nevertheless, if China hovers around that 7% figure, we see that as being very positive in terms of being a driver for the global economy. And again, that will support, for example, UK and European growth if we can get our export markets properly driving towards the growth markets of China and India. Um, I think it's sector by sector it could differ quite significantly. I think as a whole, a soft landing. Um, I think very much the genie is out of the bottle now as far as the Chinese economy is concerned and the progressive liberalisation of the Chinese economy. We see that, for example, through the Shanghai Free Trade Zone and the way that that should act as a model for further liberalisation. I think there are pockets, however, of, for example, the Chinese economy uh, in the housing sector and in the shadow banking sector, where there may, may be a slightly more difficult short to medium term uh, forecast. And the way that the central government and the authorities deal with that will determine whether there's a wider shock applied to the, uh, the country as a whole. If we go more widely, the Indian economy, we have elections coming up in April, results due on May the 16th, and I think if they can create a, a more positive and settled outlook for foreign direct investment, that will fuel further growth in the Indian economy. Uh, and again, it's an important export market for, for the UK. And for us also, that creation of wealth in India will eventually see an outflow back through jurisdictions such as Jersey uh, and create planning opportunities uh, for ourselves uh, within Jersey. Um, Latin America seeing a slowdown, um, that's a little bit of a cause for concern um, and we need to see again if there's going to be proper reform of those Latin American economies that will help to stimulate growth and move it back up and make LATAM a more attractive proposition.